am Amanda Castile, and this is David Crouch. We're from Beyond 20, and today we're going to talk about availability management. So availability management, um, you know, you can think of this as your up, some people call it uptime, but you know, it's really just our, our services available to our customers when they need them. If you read the ITIL for practice, the purpose, the formal purpose of avail availability management is to ensure that services deliver the agreed levels of availability to meet the needs of customers and users. Um, you know, a lot of people think about availability management is all about making sure that your servers don't go down and, and bringing them back up uh, quickly when they do go down, but it's really a lot more than that. Um, think about availability management as making sure that the there is end-to-end -end availability for your services. So one of the things that we see a lot is, you know, somebody will say, but my servers never go down. And, uh, and even if that were true, which it isn't always, but even if that were true, just because your servers don't go down doesn't mean that the application is running or that another server or a database hasn't gone down. So think about availability management as the end-to-end -end service from the customer's point of view, not just from the component point of view. Yeah, if a customer calls you and they can't access something, they don't want to hear, pull the servers up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, measuring the component is important. Like David said, we also have to measure the end to end and make sure that everything that contributes to that service being available is up. So that's a good tip is defining, you know, exactly what is going to be measured. Are there going to be any exceptions? Are there going to be periods when we don't, when, when we're allowed to have downtime? Um, do we need to have backups if we're going down for maintenance? Um, we need to talk to our customers about all of these requirements because if you don't talk to them about the exceptions up front, they're going to be surprised when you come to them and say, well, we had 99% availability, uh, but the service wasn't available during a time when they needed it. Yeah, that's really important when you think about tips, you know, take a really broad perspective here. Remember that if you have different customers, they're probably going to have a different concept of availability. So for an example, is it okay if the service is down during the weekend or maybe after hours? That might be perfectly fine, you know, and then you could do some uh, planned maintenance if you don't have, uh, if you don't have, um, you know, sort of a continuous availability of your services. Um, you know, also think about, Think about what sort of tools you might use to measure availability. So things like monitoring and event management tools have gotten a lot better over time. It's really hard for one tool to provide um, alerting for an entire service, but a lot of the better tools are getting better and they're able to kind of, um, they're able to, uh, you know, simulate what the end to end user experience is going to be for availability, not just for one component, but the overall experience. Great. And uh, if you want to learn more about availability and other ITIL4 topics, check out the links in the description below. Thanks!